December 4th, change is coming. Change is coming. UDP Rex. Nyolen Muna Indil Change Bobu. Combo and Ladoko Felentito. Be Nyol Lung. Combo Bay Funti. A letter I cut on the UDP La. Anyama. Alla Banko Nyangado Kanyanda Kalanyama. Na sembo abentel fang lebul. Na sembo muna ko na karto. Intelle ba falam be kalamenti. Intelle ba falam te kalamenti. Atutata lebulo. Fo albeson na lebang. Alhalo me be kere njim bangko kanchambi wa continue. Wa de continue la. Alla kata keso wale ba wakuo jabila. My compatriots, in the next 48 hours, we will be going to the polls to cast your vote, to elect a new president who will be in charge of the affairs of this state for the next five years. The decision you are taking is a very consequential decision, a decision that is going to uh, affect the life of the Gambia for the next several decades. I therefore urge all of you to vote sensibly. I want to take the opportunity first to thank each and every Gambian for living up to their civic duties. You have gone out in large numbers to register and I am sure you will also go out in large numbers to vote. To vote to elect a government that you want to install. You have done what is expected of you as citizens of this country. And I also want to commend all of you for really Thinking Gambian, you have all eschewed violence. You have ensured that our elections is violence free, and this really gives feathers to us Gambians. It polishes our reputation of being a nation that knows nothing but peace. I thank you all for that. Of course, when you go to the polls, you have to decide among the six candidates which of them should lead the affairs of this country. You have known me for the past several decades. I have devoted all my life to fighting injustice. So for anyone to think that a UDP government led by Usainu Dabo will be vindictive, you are really being misguided. After all, revenge, revenge, is an element of injustice. Wherever you have revenge, there will always be injustice. I cannot devote all my life to the cause of justice and then turn around and do the opposite of that. In the past several years, I have lost very valuable friends. I have lost family members. I have also lost comrades. I lost the company of valuable friends, friends who really were treating me as the arm's length because of my political persuasion. But this I could not really, uh, I, I could not really be bothered about because for me, Gambia is worth more than a million friends who do not care about the plight of the ordinary Gambians. I am into this. Not because I wish to build a personal empire. I have every opportunity of building up a financial empire, if I may use those words, in this country. I could have concentrated on my practice with a huge clientele of, corporate, of, 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 of public corporations, private companies, and other, other clients who are rich and who would always be, give the fees that I need from them. But no, Gambia is not a country that I could live in with such wealth. When the man in Bantanto, when that man in Batindar, when that man in uh, uh, Genji, Wolof, when that woman 
in the woolly, but woolly barokunda is unable to provide for his or her family. My wealth will have no value to me. That is why I continued with the struggle and continued with the struggle in the belief that I will deliver to the Gambian people a state that is better than the one bequeathed to me by the founding fathers of this nation. The one to bequeath to children, my children of this country, a nation that they'll be proud of, a nation that when they compare to the First Republic, they'll find that the First Republic has offered nothing to the citizens at that time. But the opportunity that could be uh, used to do that is the opportunity to be voted in as president of this country. I would therefore ask you to really cast your vote for the United Democratic Party and by extension for Hussein Udabo. Hussein Udabo, who I agree, is 72. But certainly, you all know that age is wisdom. You'll all agree with me that age is experience. You'll all admit with me that age really contains exuberance. That we will not just out of be impulsive and do things in the way some younger people will do. So we are bringing a lot to the presidency. We are bringing knowledge, knowledge not only in other fields, but knowledge in the law. Countries are governed by laws. And when we put in place a seasoned lawyer like Hussein Dabo, you can be sure that constitutionalism will be enthroned in this country for the best interest of the people of this country. I therefore ask you all to go out on the 4th of December. In fact, I ask the heads of household to really arrange and make sure that all their family members go out with them to the polling stations. I ask you to remind your acquaintances, to remind your neighbors that 4th December is the D day for the Gambia, is the most consequential day for the Gambia, and that no one can afford to stay at home and not to vote. And when you do go to, when you do go to that polling boat, with you alone, the only person or the only being with you is, as we know from the uh, biblical and Quranic teachings, are the two angels and God the Almighty. You will be there, should make a conscious effort, a conscientious choice, a choice that will not bother you for the rest of your life. And that choice is Usain Udabo. I thank you all. My compatriots, hope to see you on Sunday. Together, we try to put together a government that all of us will participate in and uh, take charge of the affairs of this country. Thank you very much. On December 4th, the Gambia will elect a new leader. Voting starts from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Each UDP supporter is encouraged to wake up early, join the queue, and find the yellow ballot box with the photo of Hussein Odago. Drop your marble in this hole, then peacefully go home and wait for the results. Vote UDP 2021. Change is coming.